Hey guys, it's back to you one more again on this terrific Tuesday. I just finished meditating and feel good. You know, I had I had me some blockage all up in my whereabouts, so I had to release that and let it go. You know, today I'm talking about you know you're on the right path. You know, you could be going through things. Um like that it just seems like you got the Friday the 13th issue going on every single day there's always something that you're going through and it's just like why is this person getting this you know why is this person in love and I can't find this and you never know what your path will lead you to if you open up and realize you know hey there's some things that I need to change you know when you hit rock bottom that's when you know things gotta go <laughs> Because I got to the point where I lost everything and I had nothing else to lose except my mind and I want to lose in that one. So, um, it's just, I meditate, say my affirmation. It's just like, even though I don't have it yet, I put it in my mind that I already do. So, you know, it's just like right now I feel like things are shifting. You know, things are getting better. I don't know what the heck it is, but it's, you know, even though I'm getting, I know it's happening because it's happening right now because I, I feel like a new person. I just feel like I'm not even the old Rosalyn anymore. The old Rosalyn was so negative, you know. Um, it's just, it's it's just like, oh my God, <laughs> it's like when everything comes out or whatever. I probably, you know, it's, it's just reinvent myself. That's what I'm doing now. It's just reinventing myself, and I like this this version better. You know, it's very clear. You know, I have, you know, everybody has their moments. You know, you go through different emotions, but they're not as toxic as it was for me before. I mean, I was really, like, really going through it, you know, it's just the shock of my life, you know, it was bad enough it is, you know, Prince had died, you know, um, and then finding out Prince is my dad, for real, you know, I used to always hear it from my, my mom, but then I would never hear it from my dad, you know, my adopted dad. And he was like, no, it's not true, no, it's not true. And I'm, I'm just like, but there's just too many things we have in common that it couldn't be. And it's just like, it took my father to pass for me to open up. And they say the, the, when you, uh, it has to have something very traumatic. It's either it could be a loss of a job, loss of a loved one, uh, you know, lose, lose your house, lose your money, I don't know, something that makes you go through a spiritual awakening. And it's just like now all my puzzles are meeting exactly where they're supposed to be. So it's just like I'm not where I want to be right now, but I know I'm heading in that right direction. And it's just knowing that I see more people that are stopping by. Thank you. I love you guys for coming to see my videos. Um, I try to be inspiring because it's just like it's very therapeutic. And I was telling, you know, a friend of mine today, an associate of mine, you know, I said, hey, you know, um, why don't you, you know, do vlogs, you know, you were funny, you always got me laughing on the phone, why don't you go ahead and make some vlogs, it's like a video diary, and, um, and she was like, well, I never thought about that, I said, yeah, you know, it's very therapeutic, I got my own channel myself, you know, um, but I love doing videos like this, I get to talk to people, I love to talk, <laughs> so it's just, um, it's just I know that when you know you're doing something that's positive, you're trying to reach out to people, you know, because it was just like somebody I um, just met the other day on the other side of the world, you know, and she was trying to figure out, you know, she wasn't actually talking to me, but she was just trying to figure out why does she feel the things that she feels, you know, it's like if she can feel spirits or auras around people, you know, um, like when I first started this, uh, I didn't even know what an indigo or true flame was even about. I didn't know anything about that. It just so happened to be placed in, you know, in my sight. Like everything is meant to come to you for a reason. Nothing is never an accident. I say that all the time. Nothing is never an accident. You know, you're always trying to figure out why is this happening to me? You know, um, uh, why is this going on? Why am I with this person and can't leave them alone? Anybody that comes across your path is like a cosmic reason. You have um, you have to learn basically a lesson from every person that comes into your life. Either it's good or it's bad. You're always taught something. You know, I always, I always thought about that. I'm like, why is this going on? Why I got to keep dealing with this? I already know what this person about. I'm ready to go and part my ways and just go. But it's not as simple as that. Obviously, there's something that I'm not 
I might actually educate myself to know about this person. So, you know, it's just like now I look at things, I was like anxious, like, oh, I'm ready to see my family, oh, I'm ready to meet, you know, ready to be my mom, you know, meet my mom and ready to talk to my aunt and my cousins, you know, because I see them on Facebook and I get sad, you know, I used to get sad sometimes, I just don't even look at it no more, you know, because I felt like when it's meant for us to, you know, finally reunite, it'll come, you know, in perfect time, it only comes in God's time, you know. And it's just like when you, when you start seeing all these different phases, you know, synchronizing, you know, having headaches, nausea, lose weight, gain weight, your appetite changes, you know, taste buds change, you know. I don't even watch TV anymore. When I watch TV, it's like watching, like filling nails on a chalkboard. I can't do it. Not too long. You know, only thing I probably watched the other day was the Grammys. And everybody, it's like people that, you know, I'm friends with on my page. And we got a page together. And I'm like, baby, well, you got to do it for your dad. You know, you need to watch it. And I said, I don't know if I can do another Prince tribute. I can't deal with it, you know. I haven't really been able to heal when it comes to, you know, the, the, the basically the death part, you know. Because it was just, everything's coming at me all, all of a sudden because I suppressed so many things as me growing up that you know things that I didn't think was important it just played a big part in my life that I was supposed to know and I was telling my friend you know this is not I mean this is a blessing to me but at first it was a curse to me but now I look at it it's like wow you know um it's just like certain movies I've been watching lately like I was talking about the as as above so below it's like a mirror, mirror image what is in is out you know um and I was watching another movie where this woman, um, she had her gift and she like took medication so she wouldn't deal with it. And her husband was trying to tell her it's not a disease, it's a gift, you know. Um, and that's how I felt when my, my mom, she was actually able to, well, she knew, she knew I was something was special about me because of things that I tell her, you know, she's like, oh my gosh, you act just like your dad, you know, you're so off <laughs> she always just tell me you act just like your dad so off because he had this mysterious thing about him and it's just you know i would be like that too i'd be reserved sometimes and then sometimes I'd be chatty you know it just you know it just didn't no but you know when you're on the right path when you feel like everything is just like when you get to rock bottom you have nothing else to lose that's when you pray <laughs> you pray and you ask god to sit you in that path that you're supposed to be on because you surrender you got to surrender to it you know I had to keep on telling myself that all this stuff I'm going through uh you know I would always occupy myself so I didn't think about it but it's like no you need to think about it you need to get through it you know what you learn from it and take it for as it goes you know um because I can you know mention my adopted parents and it doesn't make me mad you know if I saw my story you know I might have a little <laughs> aggression in my voice and it's just like no I don't they ask me, you know, are you still upset about that? I said, No. You know, I forgive I forgive anybody who's done things to me. My like my dad always said, you know, love your enemies, love your enemies. You know, I'm not gonna let them have power over me like that. I don't worry about what people think or, you know, they gotta say because it's just knowing I know if I'm coming from a positive place, that's all that matters to me. You know, um, I love making videos like this. It's very therapeutic, you know, um, and it's just like when when you look I look at my life and I try to you know I used to figure out why did I go through this but everybody that comes into your life or things that happen is happening for a reason either it's going to be a testimony like I'm doing right now I'm able to tell you guys about it or you know it's just a life you know karmic lesson what did you get out of this what did you learn from this either this person is going to be here for a season or is this person going to be here for a reason you have to look at stuff like that you know and it's just like, I always used to be like, why am I going through this? Why? And I'm just like, now I can look at it. And it's just like, I don't think about it and cry. You know, the only time I get uh, emotional is if I think about my dad, if I look at him too much or, you know, if I can feel it's just like, I don't know if it's my, my um, emotions. I haven't been able to really control that yet. I get sometimes I can be able to control it, but I guess it's just a certain mood I can be in. Like I, I long to be around him or whatever. I get, you know, 
um, a little sensitive, like my daughter's like, oh, you're being sensitive, and it's the same goes, they always tell you you're being sensitive, and it's just like, yes, we are sensitive, if you're not able, if you have your own issues that you're about, trying to battle with on top of getting everybody else's emotions, that is, that can be a little bit too much, but now it's just like, I'm getting, I'm getting the hang of it, but I just have to be able to learn how to decide if this is my feeling or somebody else's you know and I'm I'm learning on that one but it's just now I'm like wow I don't went through ascension phases you know going through all these scratches and Mars looking like hey you know I got up last night and got bruises and everything like that and I'm just like why you know what is going on with me I'm like well you gotta go through it let it go so you know um it's just like I said, it's just these videos are very therapeutic. I appreciate everybody that comes to visit my page. You know, like, share, you know, subscribe, you know, even write to me. You know, I'll put, you know, my description down below. Um, or you can find it on my channel. Um uh you can hit me up on Facebook, it's Indio Goddess. Uh India Indigo Goddess, but it's only one D. Um, or you can hit me up on my Gmail account. But, um, you know, I hope everybody's having a good night. You know, if you're going through something, it, trust me, it's not, you're not, you're going through it for a reason. It's just something that life is trying to teach you. Don't feel like, oh, you know, your life is dreadful because I felt that way. Especially when I'm dealing with ascension and now I'm dealing with kundalini and I did not know that you're, you know, when they say you don't know what you're doing, that can be very dangerous. So please don't, you know, if you don't know what you're doing, don't try that. <laughs> It's just me. I did it automatically and didn't know I was doing it. So I had to go. I had to start doing my research. You know, anytime you're going through something and it's like a repetitive thing, research it. Look it up. I'm telling you. You know, I, it made me feel like I, you know, I'm not dumb it down dot com on no more. I'm just starting to look up more things and learn more about myself. It's just like the as so, you know, as as uh as above so below. You know, it's just learning thyself, you know, know thyself, know your true self. And it's just, that's all my dad wanted me to do is know my true self. And I love what I'm reading, you know, 12, 12. I already said 11, 11 a few minutes ago. It makes me think my dad's around somewhere. But, um, but knowing that I'm able to reach out and do some videos that's therapeutic to me, um, and it, it's helping out somebody else. As long as I know I'm doing it for a good cause, I'm, I, I mean, it just makes me know I did my job. So, um, you guys have a blessed night. I'll probably talk to you tomorrow or later on this week. Peace, love, bye.